Now at 17 minutes to 11, we come to the last music program today, Another World. The series has covered many unusual instruments in the last few weeks, but it's safe to say that the sitar appears so frequently in our concert halls that most people interested in music have heard of it, even if the sound is unfamiliar. The sitar has been associated with North Indian or Hindustani musical circles since about the 13th century. How the three-stringed sitar developed into the large instrument we now know and from what isn't at all clear. Along the way, the simple long-necked lute with a gourd for a resonating chamber had three more melody strings added and at least a dozen sympathetic strings. The main strings are of steel and run over high movable bridges. These give the sitarists two benefits. He can change tat or key quickly by sliding the appropriate frets and the strings can be pulled across the frets to add ornaments or glissandos to the notes. This last aspect is very important to the gayaki style of playing which models its technique on Indian singing. We'll hear the Gayaki style in a moment or two, played by one of India's foremost sitarists, Nikhil Banaji. The lineage of a musician is very important in areas where there's no written form of the music and all teaching is by rote. Nikhil Banaji carries on a tradition which he learned from one of the great figures in Indian music, Alauddin Khan of Maiha, and also his son, Ali Akbar Khan and that particular lineage can be traced back many generations. Nikhil Banaji will play Rag Des, a night rag which contains both sharpened and flattened thirds and sevenths. It's a seasonal rag appropriate to the monsoon. Nikhil Banaji is accompanied on tabla by Anando Chataji. Thank you. 
Ooh! <laughs>